Hello everyone, it's Orc Guardian here. In this Hearthstone Mercenaries Heroic Bounty Guide, I'm going to take a look at the easiest way to complete Heroic Yashirash in Sunken City. At the time I'm recording this, we don't yet have the new Yashirash Mercenary from the Mercenary event, so I don't know if you need to do Yashirash Bound with Yashirash in your comp in order to unlock its equipment. But I have left one spot in all of the comps anyway, so if you need it, you can just add it into the comp. The Yashuras fight itself is rather straightforward. There's Yashuras and there's two adds. The adds are a combination of Cornelius and Garrosh. They have Makkora, Garrosh's ability that makes them attack and then forces the target to attack back. And then they have Hold the Front, Cornelius' ability that heals the adjacent minions. Whereas Yashuras is like Shuen, it steals attack from its allies and then attacks. Yashuras also seems to have some kind of semi-enrage ability in which all members of its party gain a bit of attack and attack randomly. But... I've only seen it once and it doesn't seem to actually do much. Like most encounter design in Sunken City, fire is simply the superb alternative. Whenever you meet double gangsters, fire is the comp that can handle them most consistently. And at the boss fights, fire can just do all of the boss fights, pretty much. So yeah, fire. I'm using Balinda with less water elemental, Ragnaros with Blazing Rune, and Gedon with Mog of Conflagration. And then as a placeholder in case I would need to add Yashuras to the comp. But while fire is the best comp, it's not the only easy comp there is to beat Yashuras. You can also do it really easily with Frost. I'm using Lokalar with Frigid Winds, Orden Dawngrass with Potion of Ice, Jaina with Ice Block Talisman, and Belinda with Lesser Water Elemental. Climbing with Frost is a little bit more interesting than with fire, because you try to pick counter colors to whatever you're facing, and pretty much always there is an answer with the Frost comp. However, the most fun way to beat Yashuras is with Holy and Mutinous. So I'm using Anduin with Harmonic Mallet, Cornelius with Shield of Dawn, and Velen with Tome of Inspiration, and these can handle the climb. On the bench I of course have Cookie with Appetizers, and then I have my secret anti yashuras fight weapon, Mutanus with Iridescent Necklace. So Mutanus is just going to taunt up, and the blue adds are going to use their Makkor on Mutanus, attacking into a green and then forcing a green to attack into them, and then hilarity will ensue, and you'll see in the gameplay footage. And this is what all of these three comps look like. In action. Okay, Yashuraj with the fire team. Let's go, blast away. Freeze over there and... Bit of die insecting and stuff and boom boom. Well, I think it took a bit of a hit there, but... And that's still fine. Oh, what Koras going to happen? Unless they're not going to happen. That's going to be 38 damage there. And this will freeze that one. Belinda is going to go down, but that will not matter. Okay, then we bring out the Chishi. And Rack has corrupted Magma Blast. Okay, I guess I'll need to use that one. One speed, gain down and take five less damage this turn. Okay, well, we need to use the Magma Blast here. I was already going to die to the AoE. So the Inferno goes there, and I'm just blazing some here. Five less damage is still a lot of damage. A lot of damage. And now at six speed, but well, I guess you're just dead. Boom. That was Yashirash. Okay, Frost Comp versus Yashuraj. Bit of a bummer, I have the Cursed Treasure here, so that could hurt me a little bit. But be that as it may, let's start blasting away. Want to freeze the one that's trying to attack. Mm, taking 20 damage, well, I have to take 20 damage, no alternatives there. And even though I would love to shoot at Yashuraj, I will, I will need to get rid of these adds first. It's important to 
blast away at the ads. Freeze the other one. And deal damage to the other. Okay, Dawn Grasp almost dead. That is inconvenient. Makros are coming, defiled attacks are coming. All sorts of nastiness happening. But I don't see a way to snap here. We'll just have to use that one. The double Makros and the defiled attack. Yeah. This one may be going a little bit weaker because of the cursed treasure. But we'll see. Alright, well, Belinda survived. That was important. And I can bring in Loco Localar. And we can chill with Localar. That's still all good. 6 speed, 8 speed, 10 speed. Big hailstorm time. Belinda can kill this one. I can ensure that that one dies. Let's do that. If I don't use that, I will take 20. If I do use that, I take 20. Taking 20 is acceptable. I'm going to blast those ads down. Belinda died, but Jaina still has the ice block. So Jaina is still fine. And then we bring out Kuki, because Technically, this GG is reserved for the Ashura slot, in case the Ashura is needed for this encounter. And then, 6 speed, defiled attack. Now my fish feast is cursed. Well, Hailstorm is going to deal up a whole bunch of damage. Jaina is dead no matter what, so Jaina is just going to Ice Flows one more time here. Before Jaina goes and Cookie's cooking. I'll make a fish. I guess that could do something, but that's five and that's twenty damage. We'll get the cooking in now. Let's see. Still got a whole bunch of damage out there with low collar. And with Jaina. So that's still a ton of damage. This Yashura should still fall. This should be like the Yashura, of course, for this one. Curse Treasures made it a little bit harder than it should be. If I don't use that, I will take 20. If I do use that, I will take 20. But it's all good because that Yashura is... Is it dead? That's 20, so it goes to 75. And then... That would be 33, so it goes to 42. But I guess this is the snowball so that I can do the other one next turn. I'm going to use basic shoot from Chihi. I mean, even if that was a unleveled Yashura, it shouldn't make much of a difference. Still be just about the same end result. Yeah, so Frost Comp, even with the Cursed Treasure, able to take this one down. Just focus on the adds first. I've done this a couple of times now with Frost Comp, and when I tried to do Yashura first, and that I still won, but it was much more difficult. Alright, Heroic Yashura with Hole and Mutinous. Oh, they are all attacking. Oh no, I need my Scaly Taunt. Start blasting away at the adds here. Yeah, go ahead and have my have my green attack into your blue. That's surely going to help. That surely, 
surely going to do something. Plot twist, it is not. Yeah. Hello. And they keep attacking. They so want to attack. But at this point, I do need to protect the mutants a little bit, I suppose. 80. Yeah, that needs to be done. It's actually coming in at 6 speed, so the penance can go over there. Because this will go before those will act. Yeah, this is good. Alright. Well, the ants are going down now. One of them gets to attack in the mutants before it dies, but mutants didn't have to attack back. Sadly, mutants also died. Natalie is here, here as a placeholder in case of Yashura needing equipment from here. So I'm just bringing Kuki. And well, going to attack again. If I don't use, I take damage. Maybe I will use that ability. What about here? Mm, I might as well use those abilities. It's fine. Because this lone Yashirash against three blues doesn't really look like it has much of a chance here. But that mutant effect on those blue ads was... that was funny. And now we can just blast away. Let's get some holy damage. Poor Yasharaj. Killed by a Murloc. Zap. Yeah, holy. Really, really strong for this one with Mutinous. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Twitch channel.